the listeners don't know this, but I'm going to reveal uh, some things about Tanya Mullings oh. now. You remember the days back in uh, Grandma's basement? Oh. With the piano, uh-huh. and you <laughs> belting out your lungs. <laughs> the sun will come out. <laughs> I sounded like that. <laughs> no, well, that's how I sound. But you belted. You used to belt and belt and belt out the song. <laughs> Who would have thought you grew to this? I'm Carrie Mullings. Um, I host a show called Rebel Vibes, which is the only all Canadian reggae show on radio. I remember singing that and the sun will come out tomorrow, and then Grandma go, "Okay, go again, do it again." Do it I again. was like a poppy okay, show stop, for stop, everybody. Stop, stop. Okay, go again. Yeah, Hold on. No, 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 no. Start again. Oh, it was I funny. remember those days. But um, I sang from when I was little, and Mom said, you know, to the point that, "Oh gosh, Tanya, would you be quiet?" You know, mm-hmm. I'd sing in the bathroom, I'd sing everywhere. She used to sing around the house, and she sang "Tomorrow" for Manny. I actually used to tell her, will you please shut up? (laughs) Because she would sing these songs over and over and over again. They got really monotonous. So that's the only reason I used to tell her to be quiet. Carl came to me one day. You know, we shook hands, we got talking. He says, you haven't heard my daughter yet, you know, she sings. Well, I said, you know what? This weekend, I'd like you to bring her in and, you know, we can get her up on stage. I said, you sure you want to wait till the weekend? <laughs> I said, Carl, the band ain't playing. We ain't got nobody. He said, don't worry about it, man. I got a karaoke. <laughs> so he went home and got a karaoke. We set it up. Tanya started singing for us. And right there and then you could see she's got talent. When Carl heard what was coming out of her, like he had faith in her all along, okay? He, he knew from she was this high. This is my singer. He knew this was what she wanted to do, and he wanted her to do it. Like, this was his chance to, I don't know, put his effort into someone he loved. That was it. That's where the team came and the guidance came from Dad. And then next thing I know, I'm recording one single, and it's winning awards. And I was like, wow, everything just blossomed quick and fast, you know? I was very shy when I came into this business and dad said to me, you know, you got to really grow to that shyness and if you're going to be a singer, you got to come out there and talk your talk. Uh, How long have you been singing? Seven weeks. About seven weeks. All of a sudden, you discovered you could sing. Is that about it? I sang around the house, but I didn't. Didn't think about going out and doing it professionally or starting. I think she did a marvelous job job, and she's from Brampton. Give her a nice big hand. CHRY has played your music for the almost 20 years that you have been in this industry. Whoa, 20 years, that sounds long. It, it sounds old. Well, <laughs> no, not old, just, just well seasoned and a yes. veteran in the industry. I think the best part about Tanya's growth in this industry is that she's had hands-on education from the elders of the industry. Most weekends she would come in with her mom and her dad and her sister. We'd get her up on stage you know, perform with other entertainers and next thing she and I were performing together on stage. She's had Jay Douglas, one of our top performers here in the city and has been for 40 plus years and consistently puts on good performances. 
I would be ecstatic if I had the opportunity to work with Alton Ellis, which she did with her very first release. From working with the, the number one producers, uh, Taya's music has never had any question of quality to it. It continues to get better and better and better. And the winner of the top Canadian female reggae singer is Tanya Mulling. This one is 1993 Top Female Vocalist. This is all Canadian Reggae Music Awards. And it was 1991 when I received Top Performer. So that was like, I was so excited because I'm like Miss Performer. That's my joy. You've grown, speaking of growth, the industry, you've grown quite, quite a quite a big deal because uh, your fourth album, Music Is My Life, an amazing package. But uh, do you remember the days of pushing your cassettes? Oh, Lord. I, I, <laughs> that's actually funny. I was looking in my office the other day and I'm pulling out 45s and, and the tape cassette and I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's me. If I told somebody I was on a cassette, they would be like, what? They don't even realize my age. I guess it's the good genes we got from yeah, Daddy. We look good young. Genes. <laughs> good genes. Well, CHRY let me know because uh, a couple of weeks ago, that while they were cleaning things out, they wanted me to have oh, no. the, the, the <laughs> submission April 20th, 1994. Wow. And um, that was during the year that you were nominated for the Juno. Yes. Um, and I wanted to... Uh, give it to you of oh, course wow. and uh, <laughs> say that you've come a long long way this one's called love thing to Tanya's early music and you listen to her last album you get a sense of her growth and you also get a sense of the kind of respect that the musicians have paid to her for her artistry she has a, a sound that has matured but has never lost its original style. That keeps me hanging on. This was my big hit, 1993 Love Thing. It was top single, but till this day, up to 2004, The Kink in My Hair, they had that sitcom that came on with Shirley Ralph, and they used the music again. After how many years, 1993 up to now, and the song is still strong. I feel the need to be loved. It's just a love thing that keeps me hanging on.